Bravo approaches to weight control. No scientific explanations to whether mushrooms, lights, and cannonballs are another bad birds and bees speak in terms of bee addressing every one of them, not the mechanics. As we didn't hear again, the hearing says this bee mechanic speaks not in terms of start every January 1st, or every May of what has been the hope and motivation. They're easy, finally getting to show them no useful talk about bee bulls once and for all in the domain. Instead, only the fine, the fine mechanics dinner time. deals only are heading for the drive to. It's so interesting. I always thought quantum mechanics was about the start of fear, downhill rock, rather than observable. A binge that could last two days, two weeks, two months, Beals. two years. What is There is, according to them, no use. Deep down and south, do you honestly feel? It's never really about free. observable, so what, what can we observe? observe? What can we see? What is it that we actually, uh, it's a phrase, you know, like, what is observable? Uh, uh, is contextual, right? It is an answer. To measure an atom is observable, it's called growth. we impose it on it a large uh, macroscopic uh, instrument. A large macroscopic instrument, for me, uh, is the environment. My like the external by by definition, that device is not part of the system certified whose observer is training lifestyle management. That device is not part of the system whose observer is training lifestyle management. How do you study a system in the future you're not part of? Let's do it right. Nor is the observer. How does the observer study a system? www.bodyweightfitness.com To measure anonymous observables, we oppose on it a large macroscopic instrument. 704 East Gano. Let's go. Most applications of quantum theory are to atoms and molecules or any other tiny systems. In these cases, the restriction is irrelevant. But some of us have the ambition to describe the full universe. We feel that is the ultimate goal of science. What I see is the universe as a whole change is not, by definition, part of a larger system. The sub-system wow. principle frustrates our hope to have a theory of the whole universe. Ooh, the subsystem principle Good frustrates out. our hopes to have in various states of the whole universe. Yeah, that's interesting. This is H over minus H. My name is Larry. Plant over plant I'm constantly sort of minus plants constantly. constantly. So it's like the more you know, uh, twenty-five years, the more that you don't know. I guess, right? Or there's more of an opportunity to change the page, I guess. Uh, there's a subtle difference, a key difference between the idea that quantum mechanics is the theory of everything. And the hope is that it's the Professor Bernstein made a nice claim is that physics is the movement of the description of everything, each considered as a subsystem of the whole. It is very different to imagine applying quantum theory to the entire universe, which would mean including us observers inside the system being studied in our measuring instruments. Over the last century, several attempts were made to extend quantum mechanics to a theory of the whole universe. We will meet one of these later on. A part of our overall argument is that these attempts fail. For one thing, making the observer a part of the system being described raises tricky questions of self-reference. It is not even clear that an observer can give a complete self-description because the act of observing and describing yourself changes you. Yes, uh, and I would argue that uh, it not only changes you, uh, but you, you get an opportunity to realize more about the environment. I think there's a reciprocal uh, like exchange. The more you know about yourself, the more you're able to know more about uh, the environment outside. Uh, in, every, in several, but there are deeper reasons why quantum mechanics cannot be extended to a theory of the whole universe. Uh, probably because, you know, a lot of us still don't know a lot about not only outside, you know, we would call that, I, you know, in, in some respects I refer to that as like the larger system, um, and then the system inside, surprisingly, you know, would be considered the, you know, the subsystem, which, you know, it, 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 those are not really fair because, like, you know, I have more of a reach, I think, within myself, right, versus the ex external environment, so why wouldn't, you know, this, the, the macro environment be me and the subsystem be the environment, you know, because that, 
that that's that's the interesting thing about it is like I you always bias you bias to the the environment, but really like it's just you. <laughs> like it's you, and then there's, it's you observing the environment. So the bias is really just you, uh, and you know your beliefs comes comes next. You know, and what, you know what sort of social construct that you observe. Uh, but the bias is you. All right, in some of my books, namely The Life of the Cosmos, Time Reborn, and The Singing Universe, and The Reality of Time, written with Roberto Mangabea Unger, and investigate the question of how physics may be extended to give a theory of the whole universe. I conclude that a theory of the whole universe must differ in several crucial aspects from any of the physical theories so far developed, including quantum mechanics. All these theories only make sense when interpreted as descriptions of a portion of the universe. Indeed, the fact that quantum mechanics only makes sense when it read as a theory of a part of the universe is by itself a sufficient reason for regarding quantum mechanics as incomplete. One thing we may ask of a theory that completes quantum theory is that it makes sense when extended to a description of the universe as a whole. However, this is not the only line of thought that leads to the, to the conclusion that quantum mechanics is incomplete. Other concerns and difficulties had far more influence on how the subject has evolved their story. For the time being, I will ignore the cosmological issues and focus on more immediate challenges. Okay, so this author raises some really, really cool questions. Uh, uh, first of all, I have to give uh, you know like credit to this author for raising some really awesome ideas. Um, and to me, personally, as positive, um, there's the balance, and that's your existence, that's presence, um, uh, and then there is minus P, so there is the degradation of you, uh, and so that balance changes, but almost like uh, any sort of interaction, you constantly see change, so you're seeing a change go about, uh, uh, you know, in one sort of direction. Um, in one perspective, through one perspective, yeah, there's a generative changes. Uh, uh, it's like the movie Benjamin Button. You know, like in some respects, yeah, as a, as a child, uh, you know, our basic wants and needs are met uh, through various like ways. But then, as we grow older, like what we seek for enjoyment becomes far more complex, uh, and it's almost like in in tangent to the 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 various ways for which we change physically uh, uh, and that's only because of, of the the change in time and uh, the interaction for which we have now this relates heavily to athletes is because they have they sustain some of the most brutal you know traumatic interactions um, they are modern day gladiators and, and we enjoy uh, watching them um, go through these interactions because in many ways they're inspiring you know <laughs> they, they they show that you can do things that no one ever imagined one could do you know and the list is long I'm not even going to go through the descriptions of all the sorts of moments in life that has given us hope uh, you know uh, has given me hope you know and, and some of for me in being inside the locker room like um, some of my, my greatest like, moments were not the things that I saw specifically on the court, but like the dynamics, like the change in the group behavior. That was, you know, those were awesome changes. Those were like, you know, some of the more like inspiring moment, movements for me is to know that um, the interactions that take place on court uh, between teams, between members of teams, between factions of teams, uh, between uh, uh, organizations, you know, I think about uh, Ryan Shazir uh, and how there was a unit of people that grabbed, like, I mean, bro, it was, it was, that shit was dope. That shit was, I mean, it, it was tragic, but man, I got to see, like, real love uh, at a man's time of crisis and juxtapose against, against the reality of, like, what football is, you know, and why we love it, you know, that's, that's, it's deep.
podcast. Oh. <sighs> 